Hi, I am doing a book review today on, if you can see it, it's called Forbidden by Tabitha Suma. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you are, if you are not really open-minded, you can't read this book. It was definitely a, a little bit of a shocker for me. It is definitely more of a rated R book. I'm going to give you a spoiler. There's incest in it. So if you can't handle that, don't read it. You know, um, I mean, obviously I read the book and it's been a while since I read the book. I hate to say that it's a good book because there's incest in it, but it's a really good book. It's a really good book and it's a good book because you don't expect what's happening and I like to read that in stories. However, I do not agree with incest. I think it's wrong, but the book itself is a good book. So I read this two years ago and I have this real, I'm actually surprised how long I wrote my book review on it back then. So I said, the reason I came back to this review and I'm doing an update is because even after finishing one or two books since reading this one, I continually keep thinking about it. Sometimes when you finish a book, you feel satisfaction, sometimes you feel joy, and sometimes you feel grief. The important thing though is finding a book that makes you feel something for days afterwards, that has an everlasting impression on you, and this book does. Yes, it's taboo. Yes, it's not normal. But it is a wonderfully written story about two teenagers raising three younger siblings together and being stand-in parents. I'm not done yet. I'm still reading. Now, I have read other reviews that say it's not plausible and that their situation wouldn't bring on enough stress for this kind of relationship. I told you. Incest. However, as human beings, everyone is different and everyone reacts to situations differently. This could be a possible situation. Not everyone handles death the same way, just like people handle a parent or parent's absence differently. I am a very avid reader, and normally I will read anything once. That doesn't necessarily mean I will finish the book if it's terrible, but even if I don't like it, I'll suffer through just to see what happens in the end. I finished this book in one day. It was about 10 hours to read straight through. It's fairly fast paced and I found it quite interesting. Haven't read much into this taboo topic, but I did enjoy the book and I would recommend it to those or others if they were looking for something very different depending on their taste and how open-minded they are. I already said, you need to be open-minded open if you read this book. And really, I think the biggest part here is if you feel like being open-minded, then you should give this book a fair or a try it is fairly well written and I did find it interesting enough to finish. Now, like I said in my review, I don't, I usually finish books even if they're bad because I'm the kind of person who wants to know what happens at the end. And I have read some pretty dark romance books where I didn't agree with basically anything the male character was doing or the female character was doing, but I suffered through reading through it because I am the type to be curious about what happens in the book. So that's why I'm doing this review. I read to you what the me, you know, two years ago thought of it and I'm going to tell you now, two years later or three years after reading it, two years after reading it, I still think of this book because the ending is so not what you're expecting. It is so wonderful to read a book that you do not know what is going to happen. It is almost a rarity to have nowadays if you read a lot. Now again, I don't agree with incest and I don't agree with what the main characters did, but I enjoyed the fact that when I read, I felt something. And I enjoy the fact that two years later, I still remember what happened in the story. That's 150 books after, like at least after reading this, I can still remember the plot of the story and what happens. So, I, like I said, if you feel like you could adventure out of your comfort zone 
and read it, I would suggest it. Like, if you're open-minded, if you're not, then don't read it. You're not going to like it. And I don't want you to read something that's miserable or that you are going to regret later because that's like 10 hours, 10 plus hours of your life that you'll be like, uh, that sucked. Like, why did I read that? But if you are willing to branch out, like, I liked the story. I thought it was well written. I'm like repeating myself. I thought it was well written and I liked the ending. But that doesn't mean you're going to. So this is just my opinion, obviously. And if you like it, you do. If you don't, you don't, you know. Um, again, it's called The Forbidden or Forbidden by Tabitha Suma. And you can find it on Amazon. All right. Bye.